On behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, we now declare today to Raji P. Hansen's Day in Hollywood. Now it is time to hear from our honoree. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Taraji P. Hansen. I just want to thank all the beautiful fans who came out today because you didn't have to. I can't reach all of you, but I want you to know you mean the world to me because I wouldn't be here if it were for you. Um, this is really surreal. I keep, I keep. I keep looking at that star, going, "Is this real?" You know, I've imagined it. I've imagined it, and um, here it is. And I, if any babies are out there. I just want you to know that everything I do, I think about you. I'm a mom, I have a son. When I set out on this journey, I said I'll never give up because if I give up, what am I teaching my son? If I give up, what am I teaching those who look up to me? So everything I do is for a generation coming behind me because if it were not for the generation before me, I would be standing before you. I am so honored because it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> Hollywood, you know that, that, um, that long walk to fame is not easy all the time. And uh, you have to have a bigger picture and I, I knew that when things didn't pop off right away, everybody said after Baby Boy, I was gonna be a star. You know what John Singleton does for, your, for careers? And I just, for some reason, God gave me an insight and I knew it wouldn't be that easy. And so I was like, and when it didn't pop off like that for me, I was like, well, then I have another story to tell because if it's so easy, how will I transform people? And how will I be transformed? So, I uh, talked to God and I said, okay, well, this is what it's going to be. Well, then I need longevity. I want to be around forever. I want to break through glass ceilings when they tell women over 40 that, ah, you're done. We're sending you out to pasture. We're going to hire something young and sexy. But then when I look up and I see these men still performing and doing these kick-ass roles <laughs> at 60, I'm like, wait a minute. I still look good. You know? So... <laughs> I'm not ready to go out to the pasture, so here I am. <laughs> and so I fight for roles um, that'll break through glass ceilings so that when these young women come in behind me, they won't have the same narrative that we have. We can't drop the torch now, ladies out there, anybody in the industry, but we also need our men. That's why I love men, I protect them, because we need each other. We can't bash each other. We have to reach across the table and help each other. And that's always been my message. That's always going to be my message. I am for justice for all. I love all people. I am really emotional because my mother, my grandma, my mom is here, my son is here, my grandmother is here. And they are why I do everything I do. I, I, I work so hard to, to, to make them proud because my grandmother is 94 years old. Amen. And she's been riding with me, y'all. She's been to the Oscars with me. She's been to both Emmys, two Emmy um, ceremonies with me. And I know she's praying for me because I know God is listening and I know her prayers brought me here. I know she never thought she would live to see this. <laughs> and Grandma, I hope you are so proud. Because this is your legacy. Mom, I remember one time I walked in on you crying over bills. And I made a promise to you and I said, Mom, don't you cry no more. I'm going to be rich one day and I'm going to be famous and I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> so I had a lot to live up to because, you know, I said it. So I had to do it. <laughs> 
then I became, then I went on to college to study and I became pregnant with my son. And people doubted me. They thought it was the end. And I just never, I, I will always remember taking my son across the stage. He was dancing in my arms like he knew what was going on. And when I grabbed him up with my little $700, yes. You did? God bless you. You gonna make it. Somebody has a sign that said they moved here with $700 too. <laughs> I hope you have a plane though. No. Uh, <laughs> but I just remember when I moved out here and I had my son, he was just only one. And I said to, I just made a promise to him and I just said, I, I'm never going to give up. Things are going to be hard. He don't even remember the hard days. He remembers the house with the pool. Um, but I just made a promise to him. And when you love that deep and you make promises, you have to keep them. And so I'm telling you, everything I do is for the, 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 the positive forward movement of humanity. And that's how powerful art is. I don't take anything for granted. Every role that I take on is just as special as the last one because I know that if I put my all into it in some way this role transformed me, then the audience will be transformed. And so everything I do is through love and I hope you guys feel it. And I just, I don't know what to say. I'm about to cry these eyelashes off, but thank you so much. God is very real. Thank you so much. And I gotta say thank you to my fiance my husband to be very soon because I'm a lot <laughs> and he loves me for all of it and I love you baby so so much thank you thank you for accepting me for my craziness